and behind all of the backs of our you people lie. that was over there. So why they were, you know, the the Spanish Inquisition people were planning to, you know, get permission from the crown to come raid America. They made up stories behind it saying, oh, yeah, they were getting, you know, kicked out of this place. No, they wasn't. They got permission from the crown to come over and raid this place, force religions on us and take all of our gold and take it back to the crown. Okay. Peace, peace. Shout out to all the American Aborigines Aborigines in the peace. building. Chief Holiday's channel. We live for the after party. Um, we just want to continue on the quick build and, you know, get the juices flowing. Shout out to the panel. We got Caramayo, Lotus, Supreme Chief Holiday, peace, Zoe peace. Hustles, Ty Data, Ab TV. Peace, so peace. we're going to give y'all some smoke. Anybody wants some smoke, y'all know where it's at. Anybody want to say something and we can continue to build, y'all. Uh, Turtle Isleesia, they can't hear me, but shout out to Turtle Turtle Islandesia for being first in the building as well. Peace, um, peace. peace, welcome to the oh. after party. Oh yeah, but what Zoe was saying, talking about the Inquisition, it makes perfect sense now to me when I study through history, right? If we know everybody was melanated at some point in time, right, and then let's just say these people we know as known as Moors who traveled the seas went to other parts of the earth and began to populate it would make sense that okay if they did conquer other people that they would take them and utilize them as servants back to where they left you understand what right, i'm saying right. so right. more so but 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 it still bothers me the fact that because moors are still in collu a collusion with those who were enslaving or conquering our people in some form of fashion no matter how you look at it because even if they left here they went over there started some new shit and then came back over here to conquer either way um the term more or those known as moors has a bad taste and disdain in history does anybody disagree with that no The reason I was I would agree with that to a hundred percent is because now not only that you know they had you know wanted to get permission from a, a another a, a group of people outside of themselves to to come back to a, a land that they visited or you know lived in or even you know journey to now the Moors call itself Moors, but they forget about the, the, the names before more, if that was them. You see what I'm saying? Because the Moors can take on a title as being the Moor, but are you the Moor? Can you trace yourself back by document or any doc kits to being a Moor? Because everywhere Moors went, they had dockets, they had documents, and they had contracts. They had certificates. So you couldn't enter a harbor without having paperwork on that vessel. I just want to add one thing, too. Now, this will also lead me to believe that this term more is identified. I mean, it's, it's similar or is what's the word I'm using for? It's synonymous with maritime admiralty law as well because yes. when you look up more it says a vessel and we know what a vessel is we know how they use the man the woman and the child um and put them in maritime law in order to take their culture and history so i just wanted to point out that when you talk about more it is synonymous with admiralty law which is the law that is being used to usurp the culture the land and history of our people right for people that's listening it, it's like considered a maritime law of today and color of law falls in front of that so now that you got would be product. because of the moors that would be yep because of the moors and the product which would be the um uh what would they call it the, the stuff on the on the on the ship um not stock um, cargo cargo now you got cargo so now you got other people that's colored as cargo that you can actually make money off of. So it was a value to all of that inquisition shit, not just the gold, but the gods. So when the Moors say 
that they didn't they they didn't sell their own people into slavery that's not a true statement no matter how you look at it in history the moors didn't exist when that was spoken about the moors came the moors you got to look at it like this look in any american in uh ancient american history you would not find any of the literature mentioned in this group of so-called moors You'll hear about Canaanites, Phoenicians, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Moabites, but you will not hear more. See, they say they the ancient Moabites, but Moabites are from Moab. You so know? you're telling me that there's no mention of more before Noble Jewelry? No. No. That I could find. What about... Yeah, what there, there is a mention before that. Uh, it's in Shakespeare's Othello. That's it. Oh, oh, as a so description so of a person, though, as a dark skin person. Yeah. Okay, and the only other time I ever heard more reference was in the painting of George Washington and the little black dude that was on the front boat who was allegedly Pedro de Moore. Yeah, and guess what he was? He was a servitude of George Washington. <laughs> That's well, we, I wanted to get into that too because I keep hearing more keep hollering the pity of the treaty of peace and friendship like it's the all end all be all when it comes to nationality and status and shit and i've just finished reading it and it is in no way the end all be all because you still under a status or under subject subject to the country subject. that you're in according to the treaty so put it like this what do, what do the people from morocco call themselves do they say more or do they say moroccan they say moroccan and they now damn we, sure don't say more ish french Montan listen we listen to french montana yeah. music Marrakesh. yeah we listen to french montana music he's a moroccan do dude uh cannon land or any of these dudes call themselves moors look like french montana <laughs> shit. Uh, uh honestly, shit, fucking uh, caramel, you look more like Fritz, like you could be related to, to Fritz than any of these dudes that call themselves Morris, but I know you not because his hair is straight. You look at French Montana well, hair, hair number one. I got a daughter, I got a daughter that's fucking caramel's complexion, and her mom was dark, and I'm dark. So we already know the average any woman can create anything. And we oh, already yeah. know certain lineages got certain phenotypes and genetic traits that manifest in different ways. But that's why that's where the Morris got me fucked up at because they cannot tell me what how to distinguish the more. Like just tell me that. Can any more I just want y'all to go get Taj Tariq. I need y'all to go get anybody to be able to tell me the distinguishable characteristics of what a Moorish person is. They can't. All they say is they're Moabites and Canaanites. That's all they say. And there is no evidence to support those theories. No. <laughs> that, I'm that, a unicorn and a butterfly, goddammit. Does not say, mean I'm a dragon that but I'm a dragon that blow water. <laughs> So the Moors, this is why I have a problem with them, because they act as if they're leading the wave. They're pioneering every goddamn thing when it comes to this law shit and into this information. They did it right. They, they started it right. But you still calling yourself something that puts you in a social political status. It still allows you to be socialized and you're internalizing somebody else's ideologies. And yet you're still reaping the same results that someone who is black or a United States citizen or anyone else is. Hey, so my question hey, is, what the fuck he, is y'all, why y'all so special? I'm trying to figure it out. What is it, y'all? Didn't he mention a treaty that in 1770 was supposed to supersede the constitution or some other shit? Or did he say that that 1770 treaty was an influence for the constitution? I was kind of confused by that. What he said was that the treaty was before the Constitution. He was saying 
that we know that indigenous people writ, wrote the great law of peace. So when we was talking about the treaty, he was basically saying, how can you say that indigenous people wrote the great law of peace, but yet not say that the treaty of friendship and peace with Morocco is, is valid when we basically can understand that there were melanated people making treaties and writing and doing, uh, you know, litigation between themselves and shit like that. So he wasn't really making a point. He was just trying to make more validity to that bullshit ass treaty with that Sultan and shit. Hey, I'm going to show you this real quick, man. I'm going to ex express this with the panel in the chat room, you know. And it's called the First Nation. And I don't know if y'all are familiar with the First Nations. The First Nations is the crossovers to where in 1763, they set it up. And guess what? It was the Moors involved with it because this is what happened. The, they took they took the goddamn name Aboriginal title and gave it to the crown of fucking British, bro, in 1763. So the title Aborigine or Aboriginal was given to the crown. So they gave us away. So when he talked that 1770, I forgot to pull this out and crush him with it because he they were a part of the First Nations, which were the fake Indians. That's why the 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 the, the fake ass Wichita's be calling themselves Moors or Wichita Moors. They were a part of that first well, nation. I, I gotta show on my channel talking about the extinguishment of Aboriginal title and how this tribe took the Supreme Court to uh took I guess the state to the Supreme Court and talking about extinguishment of Aboriginal title and things thus forth. But from what I saw within the litigation, it still wasn't able to be remedied until they were under the jurisdiction of the United States government. Either yep, way, yep. the remedy is going to be become a ward. Get down or lay down. I, I, that's what I've seen in my own experiences with law, as well as uh, on the micro, I'm sorry, on the macro level as well. It's like usually that's what you're going to get to if you want any type of remedy from this corporation they like yeah we'll give you a billion dollars y'all all y'all gotta do is just be citizen ain't that how it happened the first time yeah yeah right to martin luther king said they come to cash a check that means somebody wrote us a blank check and ain't cash it Man. right so it's up to us not to fall in that same trap because it's coming, y'all. Like everybody want reparations. Everybody wants some shit, right? Everybody want land and shit. So let's say they give it to us, y'all. All you gotta do is sign, get down. Sign. Get down with the squad. Sign. Come on, y'all. Get down with the squad. We got B's for y'all, not M's. We got B's. Big B's. What y'all gonna do, family? That's the question, because everybody wanting liberation and shit. But then the question is, what are we going to do when we had the opportunity to seize it? I digress, though. Shout out to the chat, man. Let me see who we're talking with. Chat. Root word. Chad Murdoch in the building. Hyena Chief. Secret hey. Truth. I'm gonna say this to, to Brother, Brother Caramel, man. Uh, Average of TV. I want everybody on the panel and in, in the chat room to hear this. We, somebody need to do a build on all the castles here in America. I, I found over thousands of thousands of ancient castles here. So that means that it was thousands of kings here. Truth, true indeed. And then we find cities with thousands of individual pyramids amongst great pyramids within them cities. Man, I'm in Grand, Grand Rapids, Rapids, Michigan, Michigan right? right? Right next right to Muskegon. Muskego, right? Right, right, right by, uh, by uh, Battle Creek. Creek. <laughs> <laughs> by Iroquois, by Iroquois uh, area. area. <clears throat> I'm by Ottawa, by Ottawa County. County. I'm in like I'm in, I'm in Michigan, but right downtown Grand Rapids, next to the main river, 
which I found ancient pictures before the 1900 and the, the, the river was like three times, I don't know, I'm gonna say 10 times wide. But it's a pyramid downtown Grand Rapids and it has an X on the front. And I mean huge pyramid, we call it the lookout mountain, but it's actually a pyramid. Right, right. And then a lot of people need to understand, I hear a lot of people say, those aren't pyramids, those are rubbish piles and shit. Um, but a lot of people don't understand, like, the cities and shit that you're living in is built by a lot of these mounds, y'all. Like, I know for a fact, the town that my family is in, in South Carolina, it's in the history that they found the mounds and shit there, and they use them to build the town. Hey, you want to see some eight? Aboriginal go downtown and look at the city hall and look at all the buildings. And look how big the doorways is. It got it's built for giants and built and built by giants. Right. But see, we still got remnants of giants today. And what they usually look like. Us. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's one, he's six seven. <laughs> My brother is too. Big ass six seven. And I'm five eleven, so you won't even be like uh, say mama and shit, man. Yeah, me too. I'm six three. I mean, that's a little better, but <laughs> that ain't much. Yeah, yeah, that taught you, man. But it's a lot of ancient stuff downtown, and everybody's downtown. I was gonna ask Caramel, what do Costa Rica look like over there in them downtown cities? I know they got some ancient ass buildings over there. Okay, my fault. Uh, capitals, uh, I mean, all the archaeological stuff is, you know, it's outside of the city. It's straight in the jungle. I mean, they actually have an excavator. I'm waiting for them to bring that lighter over here so they can find everything. Oh, so they got hey, some suits. Them motherfuckers, why is they trying to... You know what? All I see them doing is burning down all the rainforest and shit, and then all of a sudden they find the shit. Know no, they looking for the city of gold. I already know that that's what they're doing. I already know. They're looking for El Dorado. They have been yep, from the jungle. El Dorado. And never stopped. But like like how it was in Europe and how it has been, it seems to be that it was melanated people who started this little coup. And then at some point, the people they trained up historically seized power from them. And that's the existence we living in today. That sound about right. Because all I see is melanated people who are like the focal point of what's going on and what's wrong with our community. I can't. Yeah. So, so Ruth, so Ruth Ward said, "There's no pyramids in America." <laughs> smoke. Hey, Ruth, you want the link? You want uh, root wants to smoke. I was talking to root earlier. Yeah, root, the chat. Man, root word is funny. We said, we, jumped, we, said we jumped on um jumped on my man Canna Lamb more. I mean, I, I I really wasn't trying to jump him. I just was really trying to get some answers. If you want to come on the panel, root, come on on the panel. I ask you the same questions. I won't even switch it up. I'll ask hey. the same question. <laughs> Hey, Aboriginal. hey Aboriginal. You you know how like you know what I'm saying our channels are you know are linked and stuff so we can communicate. We don't go and look for the more channels to get on and try to correct mores. They got a bad <laughs> habit of this shit. Yeah, we don't even even begin to try to fuck with them because we already passed that. We see we understand that the ancestors ain't had no religion. <laughs> Or no ideologies like that. Not on the sense that they trying to format it and fit it into. You understand? So that's why a lot of our people are uh, kind of put off by when you start saying more. Because y'all, like Ty was saying earlier, y'all sound like the same Reverend Chicken Bone, the same uh, rabbi, the same motherfucker that had the, the cure, the snake oil. And then 10 years later, we realized we in the same position. And I think more science has been out for a while. So if y'all been knowing y'all the indigenous people of these lands, right? Why the fuck we ain't figured out till now? Why is most of us just coming into this information? Some earlier than others, but 
if y'all, if the prophet was doing all that he did and y'all been doing this shit for so long, y'all got all this history and everything. Why are y'all basing y'all shit off a tree? I just, I don't understand. Facts, it. facts. I don't understand it. Y'all built everything. Y'all brought civilization to everywhere. But yet y'all can't fucking seem to take control of what you already know is yours. Your people can't seem to resonate on the frequency that you're speaking from more. But it's, it's a reason for that. Hey, I bet it's you not. Know, one of them more is asked their grandmother, have they heard of the word more? <laughs> hey, my grandma ain't never said, baby, don't ever let nobody else tell you that you say anything other than a more. I ain't never heard that. <laughs> I've never I heard. I, I don't. I don't remember. And I. I knew my. I met my great grandmother and my grandmother, and none of them never said that. My mom ain't my ever mom heard of her more. She only fucking, fucking sixty five. Look, my pops is the same age, right? He said. He told me he didn't even know he was black <laughs> until the goddamn James Brown came out and told him. <laughs> oh God. That's what my pops told me. <laughs> he said, before then, if you call somebody black, they'll fucking, they'll cut you. Where he from? And that's, you know, Geechee Nation, South Carolina, shit like that. But, like, on some real shit, when I start kicking this shit to him, he'd be like, well, you know what? Now that you say that, it's like, I, I do remember some things. And then and he's 66, so you can imagine what my grandmother knows. You know what I'm saying? Or what the elders were told. So we got to understand this shit is just brand new, like y'all was saying. But the whole mongoloids getting here in the uh, late 1800s, that's new to me. That's new to me. Because look at it like this, man. Now, they try to tie a lot of Native American and all of this Asiatic people to being here and all this, right? And then some people actually even spoke of talking about they believe they came in the 1300s. What the fuck well, did they build or where the fuck was they all that time during the well, wars? Let me say this. We do know that at least the same, and I'm going to just be very, very transparent with this information because we use this to chop up motherfuckers all the time. We use Walter Neves craniology or cranial morphology article on the ancient populations of america and it does say that they have found archaeological bones that suggest that there were two different phenotypical type of people here at the same time and it, one of them says that it's more similar to north asians and one was allegedly more similar to the negro phenotype so what do you say to that that they're the same people and they're just from different nations in the same land it had nothing to do with them okay, so, being somebody from so, another being here thousands okay. of years ago so basically the bones that we find in are from those dark indigenous uh let's just say mongoloid phenotypical looking people who were still indigenous to these lands Right, hey, but they were. I got a cousin named. I got a cousin family. named. I got a cousin named Stacy Mayweather. Right, he tar black and look, he looks like a Chinese. Oh yeah, but we yeah, had yeah. I got yeah, and we had a, got, we had the same room. Yeah, I got people so, in my family so, that's a, allegedly, supposedly. Asian. No, what I'm saying is, listen, you know how the <laughs> Asians have the bag eye set. Right, the extra eyelid and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. that eyelid. And his eyes go straight across. So you know, um, him being t tar black or tar dark and Asiatic eyes, you would tie him to more of an Asiatic, not an Asian. So you got to remember the Asiatics were dark. And they had to come from somewhere. The ones that we see now. Oh, the Asiatics. Asiatics. Listen, listen. 
if you're familiar with Genghis Khan and the Khan and the Yin and the, the, the Jin and the Win and the Chi and all of them, they were big. They were big, they were big, they were big uh, uh, Tartarian type fucking empire. So the Mongoloid don't come from Asia; they come from Tartar. A lot of people not familiar with that area. That Tartar is, is like in the part of Russia. Okay. Tartar sounds dark as shit. It just sound dark. <laughs> but that it, it, it sounds like a bunch of black people. Like, like when you look at it like this, like right? people people read books and they don't draw the truth out of the books. They don't decode what they read and they just read it and get a good story or they get the good understanding, not an understanding or overstanding. Of it. True so when they true read true. these books with ancient stories and stuff in it, they don't draw the truth out of it. They just read it for the face value. They're not digging for the truth in those lies. Because you can always find the truth in the lie, but you can't find a lie in the truth. That's with true, the but it's always in. just a little bit of truth. And that's a lot of bullshit to go through right. to get that little bit of truth. But that's what's necessary to have understanding and that's where our people lack patience right patience they feel like we in a we in a rush to go somewhere when we've been here for millions of years where the fuck you going and see that's where you going that's, that's, <laughs> that's how you know that's how you went to the moors you can hear something they selling something because the salesman move fast now an original motherfucker move at his own pace True indeed. So when you got this nationality race going on, this nationality race going on, you got the original people that know how to be in position to stay calm because they so been hit in the same place for thousands of recycles. Right. Recycles, right. True. That's why I, I try to explain to people when they say you got an old soul. They don't say you got no old spirit, no old mind. <laughs> yeah, and then every time they say that to me, I say, yeah, because I've been here before. You have. I've been here, I've been here so many times, it's crazy. And yeah. see, that's the best. It's not about just knowing to get your land back and being an Indian. No, it's about knowing who you are and ascending out of this body before you have to turn this body in. True. Like a lease agreement. That's why everything was created with contracts from the point of leaving the womb. Root Root said y'all was still anything talking tartar. <laughs> Root, you, did you come up with all the the uh, philosophy and higher thinking ever work? Root the you type of dude. You can't Root, patent everything, y'all. <laughs> Root, Root got like four bit. He got like four screens in front of him. He got a. He got one of those buffers and shit. He got like a super speed computer. He got one of those the scramblers and shit in case somebody try to find out where he at. <laughs> hey, he got fucking a computer just for etymology because he root words. So you know. It still don't know shit. <laughs> That's my dude. Hey, Root, if you like Root, come man. On, man. I'll send you the chat. I'll send you the link, man. Because I know you felt like we jumped on um, Candleland more. And you said you would take on everybody. I know you don't really mean that, but I know you want to state your case. Man, Root, Root, me, and, me and Root can have a five minute discussion in this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I, fuck can with I, uh, I like to quote uh, like Drew Ali like and who the. Uh, Japanese and Chinese are. Talk that shit. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, let me just get that in real quick. It says the key to civilization. This is from Drew Ali, right? From his Holy Seven, uh, Circle Seven Quran. So it says the key to civilization was and is in the hands of the Asi Asiatic nations, the Moorish, who were the ancient Moabites, and the founders of the holy city of Mecca, says the Egyptians, who were the Hamites, and of a direct descendant of Mizram, the Arabians, the city of Hagar, Japanese and Chinese, 
the Jews of India, the descendants of ancient Canaanites, Hittites, and Moabites of the land of Canaan. All right, from the, that's from Drew Ali telling you who the Hindus and all these people are. Yep. So how does that pertain to us? Not at all. Because what people keep dismissing is the ancient carvings. Like when you when you go to ancient carvings, it speaks of a, a reality story. And people want to throw that out the way and say, no, man, forget that story, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's like fucking 20,000 years old, you know what I'm saying? They know what they was talking about. No, when they carved only what they saw. So when they made a story that described an event in the situation of where these allotments what people don't realize turned into uh, uh, inheritance. Those allotments basically was was an inheritance, which was divided. So when they throw the Torah out, then they throwing out everything that's reality because instantly they're denouncing their own inheritance. You know what I'm saying? So when the, the Moors come with this more biting more and all this shit, they automatically they automatically telling you that they're foreign to America's. Because is this is the holy land. This is where the ancient everything come from. All of the, what they call Bible, the, the original apocrypha come out of here, out of the Papa Vools and all that. So it tells reality and people still want to ignore it and say, no, they, they, was, they don't know what they was talking about because they read a book today. But it tells you that the Moors and the Moabites, if the Moors want to say they're Moabite, they're foreign. Do you agree? <laughs> I mean, I concur. Everything I've ever read about a Moor says it's not from here. Although I have seen certain documents and maps and shit that have the term Moor on them. Um, I just haven't seen the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests this vast empire and control under that term but was that was that in the 1800s or 1900s um according to them i'm i don't want to you i don't want to speak for them so i'm not going to answer right because me i would speak on the behalf of a lie that they would say that their name was in paperwork, it would be in the 1900s because when uh, Candleland Moore, when Candleland Moore said that the you know uh, the Moors is in the Treaty of 1770, okay, well, how was Noble Drew Ali the founder of it? Founder means creator and the first person to illustrate it and publish. So how in the fuck was they in the goddamn treaty in 1770 and Noble Drew Ali was here in the 1900s? I was trying to figure out the same thing, brother. Just like I was <laughs> trying to figure out how the fuck was M-A-U-R in a fucking petroglyph 3500 BC. Marie and more has nothing to do with it. Marie is Mary. So M-A-R-E is Mary. The chief said it didn't even say that. It just said MR. But you know, our brethren, <laughs> our Moorish brethren, if you throw a fucking M anywhere in the vicinity. Um, what you got, uh, Caramel? You got some on the screen. Oh, you still got that origin up there, man. Yeah, Noble Oh, yeah, Jali. no, that was, yeah. Yeah, Noble Jali. He, same thing. He, he he exposed that he he wanted another inheritance from another land you know and, and people that follow that science they need to realize they need to read this stuff like how do how do you gonna call yourself a moorish american and then you ain't even read the motherfucker that created that title <laughs> well you know right before that um i mean if you go to almost every chapter and that's you know in his quran that he wrote it's all about jesus so what's up oh, with that jesus Y'all want to know something crazy? Tenkara, Jesus all over it, man. Tenkara today just sent me what you're looking at today. Wow. Like, he just sent me it today. Yeah. And I, was I have, just I have different it. versions. I have an original. I have, you know, they, it's Jesus all over it. Wow. I mean, do you guys know about Islam and Khadijah and the Vatican's involvement in Islam? I mean, this is deep. It goes deep. But then, you know, this is a, a hijack on top of hijack on top of hijack. 
That's why I be tearing them goddamn masons up, man, because they they don't realize they in some deep shit. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Jesus, wow. Like there's no J in the paleos or nothing. Latins or nothing. Until like late 1800s, 1900s and shit. That's what I be saying, man. That whole term, more. It don't be nothing good that come from it. When you hear the moors, it's somewhere down the line, whether they was this or hey, that. You know what, these though? Motherfuckers did See, some shit. Hey, no, I'm I'm seeing through it even deeper. Right as he's showing me this shit right here. Noble Drew Ali create, came up with the Morris Science Temple, right? Remember he said to save humanity, right? Remember I told y'all earlier when um, I was reading deep on the, some documents talking about how the Germans created that Native American in the 1880, and then they came here in the 1880 to 1889 on a propaganda against the United States. So the United States made a treaty with right, them. Right, like, created the Native American Party. Right, they 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 decided to shut these motherfuckers the up. Party. And they 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 decided to shut these motherfuckers up and put them on some private land and put them with gates and, and security to their ass. Like, shut the fuck up, get over there, y'all take that land. So Noble Drew Ali doing that more shit to create his own nation race type shit, and. It was false. That's why the shit didn't work. But at the same time, because he was affiliated with the government, he probably realized he was heading on some shit by the time he ended up getting knocked off. And then Marcus Garvey was like, fuck that. I ain't even going back to America. And they ended up having to get rid of him, too. Like, yeah, you, you realize y'all both was into some dumb shit. It makes sense, though, because yeah. they knocked them, they knocked them off in 1923 or something like that. And and it was well, 1927, and then they knocked Marcus Garvey off in 1930 or 1929. It was like wait, white. Wait. They, did, did they knock him off the same year that they created the U.S. corporation? I wouldn't doubt that they did because you know in 1933 is when we all got sold out by that birth certificate uh, right shit. I thought I heard AP say earlier that the U.S. corporation was created in 1927. I swear, that's what I heard. We might need to. I, I believe it might have been. I know it was early 1900s because it was the U.S. Department. It was the Union. It was the 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 uh, the U.S. Uh, U.S. G.O.V. And they didn't have the United States at the time. But the shit was weird because now I'm I'm thinking about it like. All of that shit played within a, a circle of itself. And then even Farrakhan and all of these motherfuckers with the the, the Muslim nation and shit in, in, in OI or whatever, Nation of Islam, all that shit kicked off right after they knocked them off, created this 1933-33 and... Fucking, you know, Farrakhan don't age, so you can tell he didn't sold his soul with the demons and shit. Maybe, maybe the let's just say the powers <laughs> that be saw the power and the energy that could be manifested through ideology from a melanated leader with propaganda. Yeah. Utilized, it, saw that, knocked them off, and then created their own genetically modified form of it. <laughs> Put it out to the masses. Oh, uh, we got uh, King Rob praying to a lot, talking about shut the stream down. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they they did. Hey, something happened, man. Oh, he said they they shut it down. Well, he he was praying to a lot, and then all of a sudden it happened. Hello? We heard somebody. Yeah, hold on one second, y'all. I think we just got zapped offline. What, what the hell happened? Oh my God, we heard somebody. <laughs> man, the the Morris is Morris. coming, bro. Hey, remember I said, I told though, you, man. Hey, man. We in that, Ooh, that, man. Show. We in that, uh, we hey. in that spaceship, yep. yo. And the, and the spider's hey, yep. coming. Hey. The spider viruses, yep. bro. 